Hi guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we have news coming from the guys at Chaos Group. And Chaos Group is the guys that are in charge, the guys that are making, the guys that are distributing and also selling this amazing render engine that you must have heard of known as V-Ray. So they've released an update to V-Ray for Unreal, which is now adding support and compatibility for Unreal Engine 4.22, which is the recent release that these guys have, uh, the guys at Epic Games have released. And this comes with the ability for you to simply bake scenes that have been created in V-Ray. So if you've made scenes in V-Ray, let's say in Maya, 3D Studio Max, and um, you know, any other place, you can now import this directly into Unreal and render them using V-Ray. It doesn't necessarily need to be V-Ray materials or V-Ray scenes that you can render. You can also render your Unreal native materials. And even if you import things making use of Datasmith, let's say you're importing from 3D Studio Max using Datasmith directly into Unreal, you can still render these things using the V-Ray renderer that now exists directly there. There's a couple of features that comes in with this and some certain supports that comes in with this. The Unreal Engine 4 pixel depth expressions are also supported with this. There's a couple of key features I would like you guys to know about and they include the viewport rendering support for native materials which we've talked about as well memory and speed optimization physical materials and translation you can now bake your light directly there accurate lighting global illumination now exists there and rendering of animations every other thing is here i'm going to put links in the description so you can also see that and if you check here you can see that unreal foliage support is also there v-ray proxy support makes a lot of sense to have directly here knowing fully well that it's going to save you so much time to load heavy assets and you know uh, replicate those assets around your scene without slowing down your memory or slowing down your computer and you can come over to the website link is going to be in the description and get a 30 days trial which you can use for now the pricing for these things are also based on subscription unreal is totally free but if you want to get the v-ray for unreal update one which is actually the one that is available now which is compatible with 3d studio max maya rhino sketchup you know and so on and so forth you can get this for, I guess, $80 per month. And if you're paying per year, you can go ahead and get this for $470 per year. And so in addition, there's a number of improvements that has also been done, particularly to speed and also performance when it gets to do with baking of lights and all that stuff. Paying for this tool is subscription based, which simply means that you have to rent the tool and renting this per month can go from $80 and if you want to get it for a whole year, then you have to be paying 470. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. Are you excited about this tool? Have you used it before? Do you make use of V-Ray? I particularly make use of Redshift. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, turn on notification. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks things like this peace